Hey guys, this is me working on the on the Ford again, trying to keep everybody posted with some updates. Still waiting on the body lift. I ordered it. Got another problem. Uh, no body lift today. Truck is surging. Going down the road, it'll start to kind of jerk. And sometimes it even shuts off. As you can see, a lot of the basics are done. The <clears throat> new plugs, wires, idle air control valves done. The throttle position sensor, which is down here, that's all done, new. Uh, you know, again, everything that would make the engine, uh, you know, run smooth is done. Right down to the ignition coil, if you look right there. It's all new. Fuel pressure's been checked. It's good. Uh, down here on the side of the distributor. Uh, module. I thought that was it. Changed it. Still doing it. So I started thinking, well, what's going on, you know? So, you call up Advanced or O'Reilly's, any of these parts guys, you know, that they're just, you know, not coming out of their pocket, so they're like, ah, it sounds like uh, your ECM is going bad, or your computer's going bad. Brake booster, it's kind of hard to see, it's down in here. You need to change out of that ECM. Yeah, it's only a hundred some dollars. No, it's not the ECM. Had me thinking. Distributor. Pop it off. Guess what? Down inside, there's a pickup coil. This is, it's just like a crankshaft positioning sensor. If that pickup coil is acting up, then it's going to cause the truck to stutter, hesitate, shut off, and sometimes not even recrank once it's totally gone. And I totally forgot about it. So I wish I had a video or someone here to you know hold this so I could show you, but it's down inside of here. I'm going to take another video once I get it changed out. I'm not sure on this truck if you got to pull the distributor, but I'm about to find out in just a minute. If you do, it's no big deal. You know, you know get a little marker. You know, mark off where the rotor button's positioned. Real simple, a little sharpie or something. Take out the one screw down here, pop it out. So we're gonna see, but uh, I'm gonna go and get started, and then and then we'll see if this fixes the problem. And if it don't, I'm gonna videotape and show you anyways, because I saw no videos on YouTube about changing the pickup coil. I think a lot of people forget about that. And so, anyways, pickup coil, it's in there. Getting on it now.